A while back, I got to work working on a fine-tuned model that would write like me. I ended up having a good time putting it together and having some really encouraging results. I'll walk you through my process and show you how you can actually do the same sort of thing as well. I'll also walk you through how to incorporate it into Novel Crafter, which I believe is the best way to make use of a fine-tuned model like this. So let's get into it. So first things first, I get a spreadsheet with three different columns in it. And if you recall from my past videos on fine-tuned models, this is what each column has. The first column is your prompt. And in this case, the prompt is the same for every single data entry that I have in this fine-tuned model. The first, it goes something like this. You are the fantasy author, Jason Hamilton. Each time I prompt you with previous words of a scene, if any, and a scene beat, write 500 words based on the idea. Don't conclude the scene on your own. Follow the beat instruction closely. Don't end with foreshadowing. And that's the prompt for pretty much everything. And then we give it the user input. Now this is coming from an assumption that we're going to be using Novel Crafter to create this prose. You can do this yourself, but Novel Crafter just makes it a whole lot easier. And the user input looks something like this. I give it previous words. So this is like the, the words that take place right before I want this scene beat to start. And then I give it a scene beat which is a description of what happens in the text that I want written. And then I give it the actual about 500 words of text that I want it to do. Now, in order to create this, I had to work backwards a little bit. First of all, I had to find 500 words of my existing book, and I would take that and just copy it in here. And then using this text, I would go into Claude and have it summarize it as a scene beat. And I had to tweak my prompt a little bit to get it to write exactly like I like my scene bits, beats written, I had to tweak how long it should go. And I basically ended up with a prompt that said, write me a hundred words based on this, giving me an action slash scene beat of this scene and write it in the present tense. Cause that's how I write my beats. I always write my beats in a present tense. I don't know why it's just the natural thing for me. And, uh, and so when I did that, I ran it through Claude and it gave me a scene beat that sounded very similar to how I would have written it using this 500 words of text. So for in this case, the scene beat looked like this. Gloriana, the fairy queen stands with Vivian before an expanding magical breach. Though once adversaries, they, they now unite against the supernatural threat. Gloriana's knights, the order of maiden glory, prepare to defend her through, though few remain. She cannot yet seal the widening rift until something comes through. Vivian pledges her aid against the coming danger. Gloriana gathers her magic, ready to close the tear once open. She calls her knights to defend their queen. Swords ring out as the breach bursts wide open with light and magic. So that is the beat that results in a 500 chunk of words from my novel. And what this does is it gives it an example of what good responses should look like when it's given a beat like that. And then... That's just one example. And I went, then went and did this 100 times with 100 samples of my book, 500 word samples in each case, until I had the whole thing ready. And I made sure to also make sure that it had previous words included as part of the user interface. Then all I did is take a, uh, I came up here and downloaded a copy of, as a Excel spreadsheet here of this page. I then took it to Novel Crafters free AI fine tuning data set editor here and just plopped it in here and it instantly created the JSON file that I needed it for. So you could just download the JSON file here. Once I had a JSON file, I uploaded that to OpenAI. And again, I have a whole video about how to do this in the past. In OpenAI's API playground, I would just come over here and hit create drag the json file right here select my base model which in this case is gpt 3.5 turbo 0125 it's the most latest model and give it a suffix because we can do that now so that you can remember <laughs> what model is which initially this was not an option but now i would do something like b23 or 4 depending on on you know, how many I've been doing. A B2P just stands for beats to prose because that's the type of fine-tuned model that I'm doing here. And then I'd hit create, right? And then it would run and end up with a beats to prose fine-tuned model. Once I've done that, I came here into Novel Crafter and selected prompts. From there, I went here to where it says scene beat completion. I selected general purpose and I selected this clone button up here to create a copy of that. And from there, I just 
went through and created this prompt here that says scene beat like Jason. And here I entered the actual model right here. Since my novel crafter is connected to OpenAI's API, I am able to just find the fine tune model and select it here. Uh, I selected a temperature of 0.5 because that seems to be the best for using fine tune models in general. You want it lower than one and point and not any lower than 0.5. I have another one here that I'm working with as well that was created in a different fashion with some help from some another person in my community. And so I, I've put that here as well. I've been experimenting with both, uh, but they both seem to work rather well. I then came to the instructions and this is what my prompt look on the back end. You are the fantasy author Jason Hamilton, right in novel tense. This is all like novel crafter things here. Take into account the following characters, locations, items, lore, etc. I'm giving it a command to pull from the context. And then I have it retrieve the previous words, the previous 200 words in this case, so it can see what it is. And that's matching with the training data that I gave it, correct? So in the training data, I, I gave it previous words here. So in Novel Crafter, I make sure it has previous words and that they're preceded with the same opening and closing tag that I, it had in the training data, data. So that'll help trigger it there. And then here I say, continue the story and write about 400 words of the following instructions. Then I give it the scene beat also with the same tags and it automatically pulls in the scene beat that I'm doing. And then I give it a little bit more instruction here. What this does now that this prompt is here, I can go to write and I have a scene beat here that I want to write out. So all I have to do here is select generate prose. And now that beat generation thing is here. So I just select my 3.5 beats to prose, select that, and boom, it is writing out the entire beat exactly as I would write it in my style. And indeed, looking at this, I reading it, Una stood in the courtyard of Castle Silene dressed in a count dressed in a gown of white and gold. It was the most beautiful thing she had ever worn, and she felt like a queen. The courtyard itself was full of people, most of whom she and George had allied in the last several months. There were the people of Silchester and the surrounding towns, the remnants of the Roman legions, the men of Lot, and even some of the knights of the round table. But there was one person mi missing. And this is definitely writing much more in my style. Like the fact that this is on its own line there, that's kind of a thing that I do to emphasize a specific point. And then I look at this and like, it definitely followed the beat pretty well here. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with that. And now there's some things in here that don't fit logically within the story. So I would just have to edit those out. But as far as my style goes, it hit the style right on. And now the only editing I have to do is to just make sure the continuity is correct. And then if I wanted to, I could just create another scene beat, paste in the next little bit of the scene beat, hit generate prose again, and boom, there it goes. And in my opinion, this is one of the best ways to write. Now, as I'm recording this, Claude 3 has just come out and Claude 3 ends up being quite impressive as well. And I found there's some give and take. Obviously, a fine-tuned model that's done well is able to write very much in your style. And if you have a very unique author style, you might want to really rely on a fine-tuned model to get that idea across. But at the same time, I find that fi fine-tuned models are not as good as sticking to your beats. They're not as good at just making a logic, logical leaps within the text narrative themselves. Like that, I'm, that's the only way I can really describe it. Very often it'll say something or talk about something and you're like, that doesn't actually make sense. Or it's not following the world and the rules that you've outlined, especially if you're using Novel Crafters Codex. There's usually quite a bit of editing that I have to do to get it to actually be making, uh, to actually be writing things that make sense. Now, it, the writing that it gives me is 100% in my style and sounds good, sounds like natural sounding prose. It's probably the best way to get natural sounding prose, but the, the internal logic is sometimes off. With Claude 3, I find it's the opposite. The internal logic is very, very good with Claude 3, and it follows my prompts exactly, and it just, it sounds like good text. The only thing I have to do with that is edit it more to become my more my style. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. If you want something that sounds more like you, but will have to be edited for internal inconsistencies and for continuity errors, then a fine-tuned model is fine. But if you want something that doesn't really have as much of that continuity issues, 
follows your instructions exactly and sounds like good prose, but needs to be edited to sound a little bit more like your prose, then using a Claude 3 might not work as well. And I'm going to have a video coming out on Monday with more of my thoughts on Claude 3. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is last week, I actually said that my membership was going to be closing down at the end of that week. And I actually changed my mind kind of last minute. I'm decided I'm not going to be shutting it down at all. But what I am going to be doing in a week from today is I'm going to be raising the price from $27 a month after your free trial to $37 a month after the free trial. So it will remain up, but it will be at a higher price. So if you want to get in on that lower price and keep that lower price for as long as you stay in the membership, then be sure to sign up today because that is going to be gone here in a week. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you and I will link here to another video that I made going through the exact process of how to actually set up a fine tune model in OpenAI and really going more in depth on that. So you can see how that works. It's a really fun process and one of the best ways to be writing with AI in 2024. So go check that out and I'll see you in the next video.